the president is meeting behind closed doors with Jewish community leaders as he tries to get that Iran deal off the ground. The president, we will make the case to them, and senior officials here will make the case to them, that this agreement is one that is clearly in the best interest of the United States of America. That's why the president is pursuing this effort with the international community. The president also believes it's clearly in the best interest of our closest ally in the Middle East, uh, Israel. To former Israeli ambassador to the United Nations, Dan Gilliman, on what he'd be telling the president right now if he were in that room. Ambassador, what would that be? Well, good afternoon, Neil. It's good to be with you. Uh, what I would tell the president is that what worries me most is when the president of the United States says Iran will not acquire nuclear weapons on my watch. Well, Mr. President, this is not about your watch. This is about the Iranian clock, which is racing towards a nuclear device. And you know, and you've said it yourself, that eventually Iraq will be minutes away from getting a bomb. So this is not about your watch. This is not about the next 20 months. This is about the life of our children and our grandchildren, and indeed your children and grandchildren. And therefore, I think that you should rise above the petty differences you have with the Prime Minister of Israel. You may not like each other, but this is not about love or about romance. This is about life and death. And I think that you should get your act together and realize that the deal you are about to broker is a bad deal, is a dangerous deal, not just for Israel, but for your allies in the region and for civilization as we know it. Ambassador, uh would it be different if there was a, a promise or an assurance out of Iran that included Israel's right to exist? If it, all it said, well, it said, look, Israel, you have a right to exist. Would that change things? Well, you know, Neil, if, if you believe the Iranians, I have a great bridge to sell you. The Iranians have been lying and deceiving the world while terrorizing the world and killing innocent people. They are lying as we speak. But, in fact, they're not lying all the time, because if you listen carefully to their leaders, they tell you that Israel is the small Satan and the U.S. is the big Satan. They swear that they will wipe Israel off the face of the map. They deny the Holocaust while preparing the next one. So my advice is not just, you know, listen to them. Don't just listen to us. Listen to them. Listen to what they say. Look at what they're doing. Look at the terror which they are terrorizing the world with. Iran is, the, is a terror state, and this has not even been addressed in the books. It was as if the United States was negotiating with Switzerland, as if Rouhani became Mother Teresa. He's not. This is an evil, extremist, fundamentalist regime. It is actually killing people as we speak, whether it's through Hamas on our south, Hezbollah on our north, or all around the world, including South America and an attempt to assassinate the Saudi ambassador in Washington. This is an evil regime, and appeasing it is as dangerous as it was to try and appease Hitler, and we know how that ended. Ambassador Dan Gilman, thank you very much. Thank you, Neil.